Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel, or if you're new here. Hi, my name is Lexi, and today we are going to be continuing Finland Saga Season 2, Episodes 15 and 16, Storm and Great Purpose. The last two episodes were focused on Kettle's farm, uh, specifically with the, uh, the old man, the old master, uh, Snake, and of course Thorfinn, Einar, and then also Arnaid. We got a lot of backstory and information on Arden. Not only that, her husband, before she became a slave, escaped his slavers, killed them all, and was on the hunt for her. And we got a lot of backstory into like what her life was like with him. And she had a son who was taken away from her. Her husband, I think her name, his name was like Garnar or Gardar. He uh, soiled off with all the men from their village to settle a dispute about something to get iron or whatever and uh, left her to fend for herself. And their village got raided and her son was taken from her. Uh, but Gardar changed in the process. And this next episode is called Storm. Last episode was like very focused on the analogy of using Storm as like uh, the brutal truth of like this world um, and everything and like how it can corrupt you. Basically the corruption, I guess, would, would be considered the storm in, in this sense. And Arnaid said that when she finally met eyes with him again, when he tried to rescue her, he was basically the storm at that point. Um, like something changed him uh, from their years apart, which she doesn't blame him for. Uh, she. She just thinks that letting the storm pass is what's best for her. And she's also pregnant, so <sighs> not a good situation. Also not a good situation for Einar, who wants her to be happy. He really cares for her, very, who uh, really cares for her and wants what's best for her. Um, and it's just, it's just such a, f like so many like frustrating elements against her, it seems like. So she's very strong holding out and everything. And then Gramps at the end of last episode, said something like, even if you let the storm pass by, uh, it does leave scars behind, which <laughs> twist the knife, why don't you? That's just like such a such a deep nugget of information and advice that anyone can take from, even today in modern times. Um, obviously it won't be to the extreme uh, of what everyone is going through in their conflicts and stuff in this show, but it's definitely something to, <sighs> keep note of and to think about how to handle conflict, uh, when action should be taken and, and when it's best to step aside. Just like really hard decisions to make about that kind of stuff. It's just, this show is just really good at compelling its views or viewers with uh, that sort of advice and information. So it's been really fun, like the last few episodes to, to really ponder on that kind of stuff and makes the viewers ponder on that kind of stuff because we have so many different characters with so many different outlooks on life. And it, I mean, just like humans in real life, they're, they're still trying to figure out what the right thing to do is in this world and who they're supposed to be, why they're there in the first place. Even though this is like an animation and, um, it's, of course, it's gonna be exaggerated in some ways. The underlining truth of it all makes it very human and it makes us connect with with its characters and its themes and, and all of that. So uh, the, these last two episodes really, really make you realize that uh, up front if you haven't already. So yeah, I'm excited to jump in to uh, episode 15, Storm. But before we do, make sure to give this video a like comment down below and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on videos like this one. If you want to watch this video full length, unedited, uh, as well as early access to more Vinland Saga reactions before they get posted onto YouTube, my Patreon link will be in the description below, Tears Tune 3, so definitely check that out. And without further ado, let's jump into episode 15, Storm. Interesting, this episode actually came out on my dad's birthday. That's kind of weird to think about. Oh my god, look at him. It's just crazy to think about like what he like what has he been through where he also ends up as a slave just like his wife. I feel like they put a lot of budget into this episode. Everything looks like even more polished than usual. Hey <laughs> san <laughs> Oh, why? 
Really? Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. あ、兄貴が、兄貴がこの女にガルザルの手当てを許可したんだよ。<laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. For what? Oh. What has he been through? Whoa. Mm. I'm just gonna break. Fuck. <sighs> that is so tough to hear. He doesn't even know about his son. Their son. Their son. Was he killed? Or he was just taken, right? God, she's weeping. Oh. Trying really hard not to cry right now. <laughs> Don't. Yeah, mm, bad idea. Yeah, don't touch his wife in front of him like that. <laughs> we have the same reaction right now. This is not the same man. He's completely different. No! Arnan, no! No! She's pregnant! She's not gonna die, is she? Don't kill her. Don't kill her, too. So... They got away? Holy shit. Snake. Oh no. You guys. Bro, he's got snake eyes now. I want Arnaid to live, but I want Snake to win this little feud. Because <laughs> he's such a cool character. <laughs> you know, yeah, he, Aenor is kind of reckless in a way. Oh. I can't even, like, imagine that's, like, the same person anymore. He looks so different. Yononakakara先祖と奴隷を亡くすことはできないかって俺には夢みたいな話に思えるけど両方を経験してきたお前なら何か閃きがあるんじゃないかどうすればいいどうすれば先祖と奴隷を亡くすことができる Alright, let's go. So it looks like Einar has decided to like not stay at the farm. It looks like he wants the same goal that Thorfinn does now. Interesting. <laughs> It's not even thinking it's natural, it's like just the fear of denying something that's so uh, critical because 
obviously if you grow up in a house full of vikings and they will literally slaughter you if you don't agree with their ideals of course you're going to fall in line and do the same thing and then when you have a kid you feel like you need to protect them so you want to arm them and and it's just like the cycle over and over again it's hard to break a wheel when there's cars all around (laughs) i don't know (laughs) I'm just saying, you know what I mean? Like, it's hard to break a wheel that's been turning for so long, they don't even know why it's turning anymore. When it comes to, like, life and death, if they value death, if they value killing, then it, like, fear brings you into that world. It's not really, like, your duty. Some people, obviously, some people are crazy enough to, like, like, um, Thorkel, where they just, as a warrior, you just, like, you feel respected, you feel like really good for like doing these things um but i think i think like it's more than just being respected and and everything it's just like you're scared to not do what everything everyone else is doing if that made any sense i feel like i just said the same thing 20 times over yeah the dead any more of them meaning the dead yeah the people he's killed damn word for word i just said that word for word <laughs> oh, he's looking a lot like his dad これ yeah. So what do you do? Is there an answer for that? There... We still haven't found that answer. Yeah. どこか。死の果て。果ての果てにでも行かなきゃ。バイキングです。来れない。<笑> ウミの彼方まで逃げ切ったのはそこには何があるのかしら。What? その話を聞かせてもらったんだ。あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ
I've, man, it's kind of hard. Like, I've always been like a really proud person. Like, I, I've always had like a lot of pride and it does get the best of me, uh, like a lot of the time. But I will say that when you have humility and you don't feel like the justification or need to like act out or be a certain way or say certain things uh, because your pride is hurt and that kind of stuff. And you're like so humbled to like realize the mistakes that you've done um, and recognize mistakes that other people has done should not affect you at all. And like all of that kind of stuff the like the more like it makes you feel like so much more powerful uh in like a very good way and just like i don't know how to explain it i really don't but like being humble is like a like a whole other type of confidence that is completely unmatched and unmoving. I think that's what like brought me to tears so much when it comes to Thorfinn, like saying those words. He recognizes like the faults that he did and like the terrible, terrible mistakes that he has done in this world. And he's finally starting to come into his own and being able to like clearly say he doesn't deserve this like brand new life that um, he's given that he can atone for because he's taken so many lives and he's the hypocrisy is like so real for him um, but to take that and like change it into like these powerful words of I need to grow more wheat than I trampled underfoot I need to rebuild more houses than I burnt having like that strength and hu humility to like makes this resolve like way stronger than like believing any proud man. And that's honestly like the coolest you could possibly be. Like the most confident, like truly confident. This isn't false confidence. I feel like this is what everyone should be like admiring about, pe about people who are humble and people that have humility versus people that want to flaunt, you know, want to flaunt every, like everything that's so great about them. And I'm the same way. I struggle a lot with like my pride and I really do catch myself like if uh, maybe someone insults me or that kind of stuff, my pride like instantly takes over and I want to like combat it every which way. But um, knowing that I can approach it with hu humility just makes everything like, just makes like your, con just gives you like such a greater confidence boost. And it makes like your emotions stay in check at the same time as like, being able to stay uh, thinking clearly and um, being able to approach a situation like way better and approach people way better um, with like communication and that kind of stuff. So I'm really glad that they're making our main characters very, very humble, uh, but at the same time, unshakable with like this new uh, goal that he has. It's just very admirable. And I hope that a lot of people realize how powerful like being humble is. Um, I feel like I just went in circles around and around about that. But I think that's just like a really, really great point that if there's like anything you should take from this show is that these are the type of men, like men, like women, anyone should look up to are, are people that uh, have humility. So it's just really cool to see it painted in a very nice light. But other than that, this episode was really, really fun to watch as well. Very heartbreaking with Arnid and her husband and she's breaking down and losing it when she like meets him and he and he's like i'm sorry i, I should have never left you guys I, I was wrong you were right like let's let's start over all of this and she just breaks down crying in his lap and um they end up escaping we see snake doing his job and it's terrifying it's literally like he is a snake like it's scary <laughs> like his eyes had like snake eyes it was oh i do not like snake mad i want him to be his like old self again <laughs> like how he is with the ladies and messing with gramps i want that snake not whoever this guy is uh He's terrifying, but super badass. Um, and then this just powerful conversation between Einar and uh, Thorfinn. And it looks like Einar wants to have the same goal that uh, Thorfinn does. And I think these two buddies are going to continue the journey together. So I'm excited to get into the next episode. The next episode's called uh, Great Purpose. Oh, they're both running. <laughs> He's pretty impulsive. Oh, 
I thought he wanted them to escape. That's <laughs> so bad for him, dude. Oh. I thought she escaped with him. Did she run away from him or something? Let him go and run away. She did help him escape, but she didn't go with. Okay. Then what? Okay. What? He's here? What? Oh my god. I feel so bad for her. Yeah, can you blame her? Like, she... <laughs> Dude, this like voice actor actress is like wails and like her crying is too realistic, man. It's like too like piercing and like it's just so desperate. And then the context of this, it's like she's. Can you expect like anything else? Like <laughs> she's trying her best. Okay, that's all you can really give her. <laughs> She's usually like so put together. This is just, it just hits so much harder to like see her break down. I can't see anything. <laughs> like having so much shit, just you have to deal with 24 7 and then the slight chance you can, you have to like li relive your past again with your husband who just shows up out of nowhere. Like I just, there's, you can't blame her for like wanting to uh, let him free and seeing a chance and like all of this darkness you know it just sucks man it's making me cry she sees the full of confidence in his eyes You guys can all flee together. One big happy family. I feel so bad for her. She kind of looks like my mom. Like when my mom was younger. They have the same color of eyes. Facts, Gramps, facts. Yeah. Ooh. He cares about his men that much? Ooh.。お前も言えあってここに流れ着いたのであろう。剣を捨てねば、その過去は立てぬのだ。I <sighs> want a snake backstory. わしの畑を暮れてやろう。I don't know, I kind of like Snake the way he is. <laughs> is that Thorfinn? Oh no, that's Einar. See, I told you they looked alike. Now it's coming into fruition. Dang, he's so still that a dragonfly landed. Did you know dragonflies bite? Super random, but they, they can bite you. That's all. Go, Thorfinn, go. What's gonna happen when Snake finds him? It's not him. Oh, 
Just do as the man says so you can get the other guy out of here. <laughs> Go, Thorfinn, go. Hi. Arigato gozaimasu. Mori ni nigekomu kirazu! He, he should have fled towards the town, take off the co the, the cape really quick, shove it somewhere, and then pretend to be working. So they lose him again. Please be alive. Please be alive. <gasps> Let's go. Come on, Anar, you gotta make this out. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Snake is coming back. We gotta go. We gotta go. Uh, Thorfinn, look up. Turn around. Holy <laughs> so pissed. Arnid, get him and go and let Thorfinn take care of whatever is about to happen here. <laughs> Thorfinn, <laughs> you promise not to harm anyone. <sighs> Take my life instead, somebody's gonna say. Uh, what are you gonna do? And Einar does not know about this. I mean, Arnid. <gasps> Look at her face. <laughs> oh, he actually did it. He's actually doing it. <gasps> He's doing this? Daggers. Yeah. <gasps> Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god! What? Is, how is he gonna? How? <laughs> right after crying about how he was gonna be a pacifist. I mean, yeah, he is kind of cornered. He made up his mind to help Arnaid and Einar. Well, it's kind of funny how like their names are like pretty similar, just kind of switched, but. <laughs> I was planning to film something else after this, but I think I need to jump right into like the next two episodes. <laughs> like, I have to. I have to keep going on Vinland Saga. This is just too good. There's no way after leaving a cliffhanger on a fight against Thorfinn and Snake, you expect me to just walk away from that? No, no, not happening. So you guys probably have to wait a week. I'm gonna jump right into it, but let's break this down. Again, a lot of great dialogue uh, with, the, with the characters, with everything happening. And of course we saw uh, last episode with Ar Arnid and her husband and her uh, helping him escape and basically hiding him, like stowing him away right under Snake's nose, which is crazy. Like, I feel like if you're a good, if you're like a great fighter, you could just sense that kind of stuff because of like the smell of like blood, of like someone wounded. It's weird that like, I don't know. It's, it's crazy that they were able to do that under Snake's nose. Um, but Thorfinn and Einar decided they both decided they were gonna like basically risk their lives, risk because they're slaves on, they're like defying uh, the guests there, 
but they're risking their lives to save um, Arnid and like help her and her uh, husband escape so they can be free together. So that's like, that's such a crazy decision. Einar, uh, I, I mean, he's very like impulsive and just a genuinely good person. He just knows like what's right to do <laughs> in, in these kind of situations. So it's no surprise that he would be on board for it, but it's, it's crazy that like Thorfinn uh, made the decision to also participate in this, but also is going to fight Snake to, I hope he doesn't kill Snake. I like Snake. Snake's, Snake's cool. Um, but he's gonna fight Snake to help her uh, escape with him. So, oh my god. Escape with her husband. And is Aenar gonna be okay? Like, he's gonna fight those those two warriors. They they are, like, they, they can fight. They're fighters. But I wonder if Aenar's gonna... Uh, he's... Aenar's big. Okay, he's big. He, he's been swinging an axe around, he's a farmer, he's built different, you know what I mean? So like, he can hold his own if he actually starts throwing real, like good punches and starts to adapt and learn how to fight. I'm sure like he can hold, I'm sure he can take both of those guys uh, if they didn't have like their swords and stuff with him. Like if it was a fist fight, I would, I would probably bet Aenor over those two uh, just because of how huge he is. So I wonder like how, what, what's gonna happen? How is this gonna go down? But Snake versus Thorfinn. I'm feeling like, I feel like Snake is going to win in a sense. I don't think he's gonna kill Thorfinn, but my prediction is that these two are gonna go at it. Thorfinn's a little rusty, but can still hold his own against Snake. And Snake is going to win the battle, but Thorfinn's gonna stall him enough so that Einar, or sorry, Arnaid uh, and her husband can escape. I, but I don't know what the outcome of it's going to be. I hope Thorfinn doesn't kill Snake. I mean, Thorfinn's the main character in this series, so I don't think he's going to die. Uh, but yeah, I, I just have a feeling like Snake is going to overpower Thorfinn in some way, you know, just because it's been so many years since Thorfinn's even fought. Oh my God, you guys, but that scene, <laughs> like that stance we all know he like takes a step back he gets low he's like ready and then you see the fist he's he's like shaking his hand and then he goes and he's like yep those are daggers so uh yeah that was insane not much to really say because it's just building up this fight between uh snake and thorfinn so i'm gonna jump right into the next episode but i have to end this video here um, so if you guys enjoyed this reaction, make sure to give it a like, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on videos like this one. If you want to watch this video full length unedited, as well as early access to more Vinland Saga reactions, definitely click my link in the description below, my Patreon link, tiers two and three, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!